It's your boy Real here from Through the Hard Way TV. Go like our fan page on Facebook. Also subscribe to the YouTube. Don't forget to like and share this video. Comment under the link. It's your boy Real. All day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way. Back to Three the Hard Way TV. We got the beautiful Brittany here. I'm Dion. This is real. Y'all be sure to hit that video. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up for your chance to win exclusive Three the Hard Way TV merchandise. The giveaway is coming real soon in the next giveaway, in the next giveaway, in the next giveaway. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell your mama to watch the show. Um, <clears throat> on today's show, we got an email coming in from Kim. It says, me and my current... BF boyfriend of eight months have been in talks of moving in together recently hopefully around the one year mark he's a great guy I love him but with, I love him and with every day I'm falling <laughs> deeply in love with this man but but the but the only problem seems to be let me know if I'm tripping y'all he low key compares everything I do to his ex of five years he even remains friends with her on social media, once making her his WCW and post throwback pics of them two together. Fool! They didn't delete that shit. Go. <laughs> Am I being insecure or he is he still in love with her, with his ex? And do you guys think I have a chance with this relationship? Well, let's let the real take that. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me dust off my old player gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, you only been kicking with this nigga for eight months. You shouldn't even move in together yet. You know what I'm saying? And he, he posting pictures of his chick. First of all, he's with her for five years so he can pay to it because that's all he know. She left him so he's still in love with her probably lingering effects. He posting throwback pitch in WCW. I say pack your bags and run like a king. Because if you don't, you're going to be sharing a man. You're going to come with the bars. That was two. Now it comes to Kit Kat. Come on. And, and you, you said bars and Kit Kats, they're going to think you talk about Zaddy's and Percocet. Yeah. You know, that's what they call that shit, right? So, <laughs> She's talking about rapping. <laughs> right, right. We're in the rap bro. Yeah. Don't 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 do it. What's her name? I don't know what her name is. Her name was, was um Go ahead, finish off. Don't uh, don't do it. Kim. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let, let Brittany give you a little insight on the camera and I'm gonna double back on you. That's how that man do he double back on his five days. <laughs> <laughs> I what I would really want to know really wish that we can just like have that audience kind of feedback but what I would want to know is um, after the five year relationship what did he have that like him single or he just went from in one relationship straight into another that's a good question because we're I always say this we as humans we forever evolve and we're forever changing for one and for two I just feel like when you've been with someone uh, for years and you've come out of a relationship whether you're the man or the woman you're not that same person you was five years ago so it's, it's all about reinventing yourself first of all for certain things that you probably was into those years ago are you're not into anymore and some things that you was reluctant to back then um, you're not you're open to it now so if he's chasing you know being a serial dater is what I call it or serial you know relationship type person mm -hmm. and he, he's lost so he's trying to find himself to be a carbon copy of something that he's used to and his girlfriend is something that he used to definitely would not move in with them mm -hmm. not at all not at all if he ain't trying to put a ring on it like no I'm not but he diplomatized at this state no because but but see my thing she is, is that because it seems news. like he's lost and she's open but he knows how to show whatever it is because his thought process could possibly be I'm trying to make up the mistakes that I did with my five year relationship with her but so she's showing mistakes, exactly yeah. exactly so it's like you're pouring salt on an open wound yeah. so I would really want to know what was his stance like before they they, they, they kind of started dating because at some point you all got to have that conversation to make sure that y'all may be in the same book but not on the same page and that's what it, it just kind of sounds like that was deep 
So <laughs> that was deep, yeah, was, my nigga. It was kind of deep. Shallow water, three feet. <laughs> Get your life jacket. <laughs> just, so, just stand up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> But but and, and a lot of times, so it sounds like the communication part is not there. So you definitely want to address the elephant in the room. And like I said, and I was even talking with my esthetician today about the same thing, that you don't just ignore it. If you think that you're tripping, 10 times out of 10, you ain't tripping. It's something there. So you just need to address the elephant in the room. So that I would do. So you can know for you as an individual, just not the individual in the relationship, to know what to do going forward. That's what I said. Okay. I'm going to say, you have to challenge this head on. You have to tell them. You got to come to them. You got to tell them you're uncomfortable with this. It's making you uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you're being uh, made a fool of. You have to tell this guy, hey. I'm going to need you to delete her from your social media. She's an ex for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So you really agree with that? Absolutely. Draw a line through that. Yeah. She, she's an she's a ex for a reason. Oh, we got to do a show about Let, that. Let's, let's, I let's, feel let's, totally. Let's go ahead. Totally. Let's go ahead. Different. And get her, get, get her out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all still um, have some kind of line of communication or whatever, okay, I'm fine with that. Y'all have his, history with one another. Highs and buys and things of that nature. As long as you keeping me in the loop in the realm of what's going on, I, I'm gonna, you know, be okay with that because okay, y'all got history. But you're not gonna fucking make a fool of me doing no motherfucking ah uh, man crush Mondays and shit like that and no throwback Thursday pictures <coughs> of you two motherfuckers where I know y'all was in fucking Tahiti just fucking fucking fucking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like. That with him. Of course. Fucking. Like I, that's my pussy now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, but, for, for her, like, he making a fool of you, baby. Just don't. Right. He, he got to yeah. stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't don't be made a fool of. So, but in regards so, to deleting so in deleting the, him yeah, or her or whatever, you, you really agree because they're ex, they should get deleted? Yeah. In this situation, because he's being disrespectful. But he's taunting the situation, not necessarily her. Right. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, the push, <laughs> you know... <laughs> I under I understand, but I'm just saying. Okay, if, if okay, if they come to a conclusion, he says, okay, we still cool. I don't want to delete her. Okay, but you're not gonna keep doing no. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you're I'm not gonna keep throwing it in my face. The the great, right, yeah, he the, wrong. He wrong like 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 two left shoes. Like he right. wrong. He wrong. So I'm a, the great psychologist Marvin once said that <laughs> he asked when, when he's <laughs> talking. You What's never heard of the, the Marvin. Marvin Marvin, the psychologist. <laughs> Marvin Martian? No, oh, not the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> he usually, I'm gonna I'm I'm give you the I'm gonna go with this guy. He usually counsels married couple and he talks to women. And the, one of the biggest things I've read in his book was that he says that <laughs> women always ignore the signs. Paperback. The signs with <laughs> paperback. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely got to be an evil. <laughs> Get you one. <laughs> Can you please but leave that link? Was, Can you please leave that link for the book? I'll leave that link it was for a, you. It was a short column it in the Chicago. Right, right. But it was very... <laughs> no, the <laughs> awesome <laughs> times. Right. It was very effective. See, women, <laughs> see the problem with women is... <laughs> signs the warning signs that's there because they looking at the potential that could be there exactly they always go. look for that potential they see the potential there. and the problem is some people just don't live up to their potential he ain't gonna live up to it look the one question you the, i want you to write us how how long has he been broken up with the chick and did she break up with him because clearly he's still like her that's why he comparing to everything she do he still love her. yeah he love her i, I guarantee you she left him that's why he comparing every time you do something, he like, well, my ex didn't do it this way. My ex didn't do it that way. He not trying to get over her. He don't want to be over her. Even though he like you, but you know he's what? comfortable. Because if she walk in the door right now and say, let's go he back, he, he's out of there. So you but, ignoring those signs for the little potential that you think he got. 
He's never going to love you like her. Because in relationships, we all know in the beginning, that's the most fun, the fun time. So if, if, if you've been talking to him eight months and he comparing you to her, the that's going to be coming forever. Out, right? Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. So, and I think he's, like I said, he's living his like his his mistakes or whatever to fix or to repair with her and something that's why I said communication is key because he could possibly subconsciously not even know that he's doing it. Could be. He, you know, he, he just like you know, like oh, you know, like if you have a conversation like oh, I remember one time you know this happened or I remember one time but like and you're like damn like everything I'm saying until someone address it. Or he tell you that you do. He could it. be trying to use her to get over his uh, the other. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, that's he, what I'm saying. He, he, and, then, and and you know what? You're right about that because you could be just that that bridge that. to the next woman. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell you. Because most men, most men jump don't, don't don't relationship to relationship. They don't take breaks. Most men just jump. Like we already be cheating with this chick. Oh, you gone? I'm gonna just kick with her. I'm gonna cheat and go to her. Like we don't take. They don't take breaks. I, you know what? I'm I'm a. I, <laughs> I knew, I knew you a see guy. See how he became. Uh, <laughs> I, I I knew a guy that he could. No, say my name. No. <laughs> I I knew a guy. He couldn't get over his ex. Like he was in a deep depression, like a downward spiral of life. To where he couldn't get over. He. Uh, Chris Brown. No, no, no. Oh. He he was he was drinking heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, he in this time period when she uh, left him. He was uh he probably went through like four jobs in like a two year span. Uh couldn't keep a job because of the drinking. He couldn't get up to go to work. You know what I'm saying? It it, it affected him heavily. And he so, died of a broken heart, didn't he? No, he ended up getting bed bugs. But I knew it was a big yeah. bug guy. <laughs> that usually what happened to you though. Like he, you can't get you can't he, he you was, have to stop other really women from up. getting in your bed, so you got to get the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you become one with the bug, and, and you know, like I, I really felt, I really felt bad for the guy because it was just like she moved on, and she was just like uh, having a hell of a time doing dicks and all type of other shit, like, mm -hmm. like, cause you know when they got together, she was really young, so it was like, I guess she felt like she had to go out and live the the moments in life that she missed mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he was trying to, uh, you know. Put her in a position that she wasn't and, ready for. And he had like an eight year, a eight or nine year age difference on her. You know what right I'm saying? So, so like he lived his, he lived all those youthful experiences and all of them fuck ups and mistakes and heartaches and different women and all that stuff, the stuff mm -hmm. that she didn't get to. So that's that's why I believe that it didn't work, but it hurt him bad. Yep. And just right. like and said, put her in a position that they weren't ready for, that's what he's doing to her. If he move in with you, you weren't ready for what's about to come. Mm -hmm. Ain't right. Because it, it, it's only going to unfold. I mean, I can't even take it's, it. It's, some, it's something, take it's it something if, I'm with a woman, if I'm with a woman and she like, Dion did it this way. Dion, I, bitch going to be behind <laughs> 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 Get your ass out of here. Dion, your man crap. Yo, man, crushed out. What the fuck? How old is y'all? First of all, and then you black. Right. <laughs> so old to be crushed. You, you be WC, You WCW and this chick, and y'all together. Y'all think about moving in together. You must ask him to move in with you, cause he clearly ain't ready for that shit. Yeah. No, he ain't. And, and, and then yeah. when she, and I then when she probably did. And, and then when she move in with him. It's demons that she not seeing of his. That's, that's what I'm saying. Women ignore the warning signs because of the potential. But he ain't gonna live up to that potential. He trying to get you to fix him so he can go back to her. Yep. With the correction and be like, I'm a better man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Girl, don't make it easy for the clean up woman. Yes, you do that. You the man. Mm -mm. Tell him Molly is off duty. It's simple. <laughs> it's simple. Don't don't move in. Don't do it. it. Don't just yeah, I, I just definitely address the elephant in the room. I don't know. Did, did she say they in love? She said she's deep. Oh yeah, you're in love. See, yeah, you fall yeah. deeply. You ain't yeah. deeply in love with him. You noticing all this extra. You ain't you. You blinded by the newness of it. Let that shit go. See, she thinks she's in love. I yeah, think eight saying. months is still is still. She, you still fresh. That's like, that's lust. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still doing shit like. Y'all at the mall going, Hold in the, hands. going in the washroom and fucking and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fucking in the car. If y'all fucking in the I, mall washroom, y'all shouldn't even be together no way. After about, after, about, <laughs> after about three years, <laughs> shit, <laughs> both of y'all ain't gonna wanna fuck no more. Y'all fucking in the Greyhound bus station bathroom. No, stop it. <laughs> 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 they fucking in the 
<laughs> and the bus bar. <laughs> well, we unanimously agree all across the board, real Brittany and myself. Look them up on Don't Date Them. <laughs> That's a real thing? I don't know, I just said it. <laughs> Shit. Hey, y'all got any questions for us? The email as well as the phone numbers below. Y'all give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. You know, ladies, look out for those warning signs. Men, if you're hurt, because men go through it as well, get you yeah. some help. You Please. know what I'm saying? And, and, don't, and don't put another woman through your fuck ups. Get that philosophy. Hey, man. That's somebody book. grown right there. I'm growing up. He read, hey. he read that book. Hey. He read the book. He read that book. The column. <laughs> the paragraph. <laughs> it was only three words. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> they can be anything. Right. Apply, it apply to your life in all aspects. <laughs> And I know y'all see the ladies looking good in them three the highway TV shirts. Hey, three, the highway T. Y'all hit that subscribe button for y'all chance to win official three the highway TV gear. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to make those shirts look as good as the ladies got them looking. Oh, <laughs>